What's up, people? We are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. I'm actually not sure how common this is because I always thought that I was alone with this, but I re I just now actually got back from buying a few items at the supermarket and I was actually doing it right after I was biking home from college. Like I was just went there on my way back home, so I decided to just swing by there, buy a couple of things, and yeah. Um, in our supermarkets here, at least in in some of them, it's sort of mandatory that they're allowed at the at the cashier when you're like uh, buying your stuff or you're checking out um, that the cashier is allowed to sort of check in your bag to I guess it's just for security reasons you know if they think you're suspicious that if you've stolen anything that they're just allowed to watch in that if they ask it of you and whenever I always when I have a bag with me because this time I did whenever I come from uh, straight home from college I generally have a bag with me but I have nothing to hide yeah I didn't steal anything in the store whatsoever but still whenever that moment comes up where it's like oh my god it's my turn or even before then when a cashier sort of looks at me and I, I already start to think like oh my god is she looking at me because I have a bag is she gonna ask me because occasionally it has happened that they don't ask me to open my bag but most of the time it has and then it's like oh my god I acted suspicious and then I try not to act suspicious and then I start to think to myself wait what is suspicious and then while not trying to act suspicious I actually act suspicious because I don't know what the hell not suspicious is so I start actually acting weird and that ends up with me acting suspicious so yeah this time luckily she didn't ask me for uh, what was in my bag but the previous time they did and I was like alright but I don't know why I'm just really dreading that moment even though I have nothing at all to hide and I obviously didn't steal anything so I don't know why I'm so afraid of that particular moment because when that moment actually happens it's like okay I'll just open my bag show it to her that, I've, that there's not much in there or at least you know books and whatnot my laptop that's it but still the moment before that is just so weird and awkward for me and the same thing always happens whenever I see police driving around as well like you know police just patrolling in the police car driving around the town and for some reason obviously I'm not a thief I'm not a, a crook or a, a criminal or what whatsoever but whenever I just see a police car riding around I just get the feeling like what do I do? Do I make eye contact with them? Do I actively try to avoid looking at them? I just feel not necessarily suspicious but just weird like what is the right course of action to take in this situation and I just always end up doing different things and therefore thinking that by not trying to act suspicious I actually act suspicious because of that once again so yeah I'm not sure if I'm the only one with that but that's generally my struggle when I go to the store with uh, with a bag or at least a, like a backpack or um, with police I don't know why police they're supposed to make you feel safe right but for some reason i'm always sort of intimidated by them i don't know why but i guess that is just me but who knows um blah, we should actually continue with this obviously because that's why you are here not to hear about my silly stories and insecurities about police and whatnot so yeah um what we were actually doing in the previous video all right um the mysterious man scared away the people um the, the hoodlums in the slum and we were about to arrive at Lin's house because she's gonna teach us some martial arts gonna teach us some special moves so yeah let us continue I'm sure this is it a small rusty hut comes into view Rosary's map says this is Lin's place if it's not I can always just run playing with the kids at the church has made me really good at running good because that's probably a very good skill to have in this slum here. Hmm. Is she away? I knock on the door a few more times, but nobody answers. I guess Lin must be off somewhere today. Come to think of it, I didn't tell her I'd be visiting today. But I had no way to contact her. Okay, she's not here. Oh, I think I should come back later. Just as I decide to return to the church, BAM! Who's banging on my door? Are you trying to break it? I didn't hit the door knocking nearly as hard as Lin just did opening it. Oh, she's in. Oh my god. Lin is an interesting character as well. Like, she can look actually quite 
cute and innocent as well, but she can look mean and angry too. Like, look at this face right now. That's a pretty scary face. She stares at me, looking very disgruntled. Did I interrupt a nap? Hey, don't make me jump. You almost gave me a heart attack. Huh? Who are you? Huh? It's me, Tadayoshi, remember? Tadayoshi? Sorry, but I don't know any kids who look like you. What? I can't believe it. Lin doesn't know me? How is it possible? Obviously she's playing, I think. Unless she has temporary amnesia, but I kind of doubt that. That reaction, combined with the situation I'm in. Maybe I really don't exist after all. <laughs> oh god. Lin suddenly starts laughing out loud, clutching her stomach. Huh? What's going on? <laughs> oh, sorry, but boy, you're really funny. Uh, I was really freaked out. I said I was sorry, but it's funny to see your thoughts so plain on your face. So, what brings you here today? I'm here because of the promise you made me. Teach me how to use Tomfa like you do. I saw you use them yesterday. Okay, I remember my promise. But you need to warm up first. Do a lap around the town. Sure, I know how important it is to warm up. I've heard you should never work out without warming up. So doing some running before I get started is obviously a good idea. Wait, aren't you coming with me? Huh? Why should I run with you? You can do it alone. Uh, Lin answers enthusiastically. Unenthusiastically, actually. Oh wow! <laughs> I actually thought this because um, it didn't really specify uh, on Steam what kind of visual novel it was. So I was considering that we've played through I don't know how many. I think this is nine video right now. Through this long without an actual choice, I was actually thinking it would be a kinetic visual novel. But apparently there are choices. So keep convincing Lin to run with me or start running on my own. For some reason, I have a feeling that we actually did interrupt a nap from her for her. And she's just telling us to take a lap around the town just so she can continue napping again. And by the time we'll be back, she's probably well rested. So, uh, should we convince her to run with us or just start running on our own? You know what? I like company when it comes to running. Like, come on, this town is dangerous, right? The slums and whatnot. I need a bodyguard with me although I won't say it to Lin that way because then she'll probably be like what I'm not your bodyguard and then she's gonna slap me around a little bit so I'm gonna try and convince her to run with me <laughs> I knew she was going to say that are you sure you want me to run alone I said you should start running by yourself if I go alone I'm sure I'll lose my way if I get lost I'll be running everywhere shouting your name like Lin-Nay-Chan! That might ruin your reputation, and people would point and laugh. Are you sure you want that? Th that's true, but it's nasty. Lin looks obviously offended. I figured that sort of tactic would work on Lin. Turns out, I was right. So, what will it be? Do you really want me running around town aimlessly on my own? Ah, fine, fine. But I'm only coming with you today. You'll be on your own next time. Okay, I should be fine once I know the way. So please, teach me, senpai. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> look at our face. It's like, oh god, how much longer is it? Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Wow, how is Lin not even winded? I'm short of breath already. Well, here's your, our first problem. We're running in like really nice, neat clothes. Like this is this sort of clothes that you wear when you're either going to a business meeting or like att attending a fanc fancy uh, dinner or something. That's not proper clothing to, you know, run around in. I'm running after Lin on the unpaved road. I wanted to work on memorizing the route, but it's all I can do to keep up with her. Hey, can I speed it up? 
What? I'm at my limit already. This is a brisk walk for me. Boy, you're so weak. Ah, uh, but if you speed up, I'm sure I'll lose you. Uh-huh. Did I really do that good of a job at convincing her? We keep running without picking up the pace. After a few minutes of running, the people of the slums are watching us curiously. I can hear the people watching, saying things to each other about us. Look at that! Lin, the mad dog of the slums, is on a stroll with a boy. Man, I envy him! He must be sucking wow <laughs> my Okay. <laughs> sucking on her tits every day. Yeah, I, I I get that. I mean people running around, that's the first conclusion that I draw myself as well. Oh my god. These people in the slum, man. What the hell? I guess Lin hates men who uh, because they're too adult, huh? Ah, that woman! I was after that boy! And now she gets him! I, I, I seriously, I got nightmares of that guy in a jumpsuit, man. If I see people uh, in real life in a jumpsuit, I would, I will actively try to avoid them now, just solely because of this character in this story. Oh my god, it has imprinted in my brain people in jumpsuits. Oh god, I think I'm going to try to forget that last one. Why does he keep showing up everywhere I go? He's so frightening. Shut up, all of you. <laughs> Scamper. I knew they'd start gossiping about me like that. See why I didn't want to run with you, kid? I get it now. I'll try to run on my own from now on. Given how frustrated she is, that's the only answer I can give. Because I don't want her to freak out, freak out on me. <sighs> oh. Hey. You can't tap out yet. I can't believe how weak you are. <sighs> I thought I'd gotten some stamina. <sighs> From playing tag with the kids. I figured at m as much because playing with the kids is physically demanding. But I really feel that I am still weak. My past self never engaged in physical activity. But you haven't whined or asked for a break. That's a good thing. <sighs> Because I asked you to run with me. I can't be too rude to you. If I'd still been the way uh, if I'd still been the way I was when I lived in the mansion, or even when I first met Rosary, I would have asked for a break by now. Compared to how I was at either of those times, I feel like I've grown up. But I haven't gotten any taller. Ugh. I don't I don't don't think people necessarily mean that you get taller with grown up. I wish I could mature physically as well as mentally. Yeah, boy, do I wish that as well. I, I don't know if people notice, but I'm actually quite small. I mean, the average height in my country is rather tall, but here I'm considered small. In Asian countries, I'm considered, I guess, somewhat tall, but then again, the average height in most Asian countries isn't that high either. But yeah, for I guess by European standards, I'm pretty dang small like I did the, I remember doing the conversions a while ago I don't know how long though because considering I've already forgotten the exact measurements in feet but I think I'm like five foot something so not too bad what does it say on my ID card actually wait I'll check this out it's gonna be in centimeters though or like meters but and this is like not that accurate either considering Holy crap, my ID card is expiring January 4th, 2016. Dang it. Okay, I have to renew that as well. I didn't know that. So I guess it's a good thing that I check this out right now. But yeah, this was taken on in 2011. I was 170, 1 meter, 70 centimeters. So I don't know the exact... I, I, have I grown in the last almost five years perhaps like a couple of centimeters i guess i'm not sure but yeah i guess 170 is i'm pretty sure i was it was definitely five foot i don't know if it's five foot something else but yeah i guess that's considered not that tall it depends on the country of course but yeah here i'm pretty dang small sadly we're almost there so don't don't pass out ah uh, got it i'll try my best 
Using the last of my strength, I try to run along with Lin. I'm not surprised that I have to look up to see Lin. I can see the huge gap between Lin's height and endurance and mine. I've been running for a long time, but Lin hasn't even broken a sweat yet. Now that I think about it, Lin's got a nice looking face when you look at it closely. All the women around me, like Rosary and Nina, have nice proportions. What? <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> that he's been looking at the proportions of a, I guess, sort of disabled girl? Well, okay. Nina isn't really disabled. She's just sick. So she's not using the the wheelchair because she, is, she has a physical disability. It's just because he's uh, sick or ill or a specific illness it was, right? That the doctors don't even know what it exactly is. But when it comes to certain people like that, I just... I just even if that, I were to think that way about girls, which I actually don't do that often, I don't immediately look at like, the, oh, they all have big boobs or whatever, you know, that's not the first thing I look at. I admit I'm a guy, I still look at those things, but that's not the first thing that immediately comes to my mind. But yeah, when it comes to like sort of, I, I guess, disabled people, that's something that I would just generally not think about at all because I don't know why though. I mean, that, that I don't know, I just would just feel that, I would consider that weird to think about such things about a person in a wheelchair like oh yeah you got nice boobs or whatever that's just such a weird thing to say right so that's something where my mind never goes in in situations like that so I guess I'm a little bit surprised why I find it strange that he does that but then again I could be the only one that thinks that way and that I am the weirdo here and not that guy so you live and you learn I think Myrna and Julia will be beautiful women once they grow up. I knew he's a pedo. <laughs> hey, are you thinking about something stupid? What? I'm not thinking about anything at all. I mean, I can understand it. I mean, I've, I'm have i not really in puberty anymore, I think, whereas he is 16. So maybe that's the sort of difference between him and me, I guess. If you, if you can think about that sort of thing, I take it that you're ready to speed it up. No! Wait for me! Lin really picked up the pace and moved far ahead of me. His thoughts show on his face so easily. What an interesting boy. <sighs> I can't run anymore. I tried to cut catch up with Lin, but I'm too tired to push myself into doing so. Come on, boy. I'm gonna leave you behind if you're too slow. <sighs> I... I know! Lin stays where I can still see her. It, um, is that her showing me kindness? It looks so pathetic to be tired from a warm up. I decided to train on my own to build myself up. I mean it. <sighs> I managed to return to Lin's side, but I can't control my breathing. And my legs are shaking. My body hit hit its limit in the warm up. I can't believe how weak you are. I must admit it. Lin looks down at me with an astonished face, but I can't argue. Ah, oh, boy, we'll have to start with basic training before you can learn anything from me. Oh. Does that mean you're going to train me? I can't just go back now. I'll train you to the end. Oh, you're surprisingly kind, aren't you? Whack! Ow! Don't hit me too hard! That surprisingly was uncalled for! Lin blushes and looks away from me. Is she embarrassed? What's with that smirk? Nothing. I've never seen this side of Lin. She's always been blunt. I think, deep down, she's really kind. I think so too, but she's just sort of had to have this tough demeanor and sort of tough. I, I guess it's sort of an act, but it's really necessary for her to survive in the slums, right? I don't think with, without an attitude like that, that you just wouldn't survive in the slums. So yeah, that's how she's been able to, you know, have such a mad rep in the slums. 
Hmm. You're shorter than me. <gasps> she whispered that fairly quietly, but my ears won't let that word pass by unnoticed. Lin, you just brought up my taboo topic, didn't you? I admit that you are a bit taller than me at this very moment, but that's just how things are now. In a few months, I should be taller than you. I blaze away at her, 420 style. Lin looks staggered, but I don't care. Body height is one is my one taboo topic, taboo. But I think it will change soon. That's something I've thought my entire life, right? I just thought like, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna have a really late growth spurt, and or or not even a growth. Spurt. I had like a I don't even remember, but I had somewhat of a growth spurt, but it wasn't like physically that visible. It's just like yeah, I grew a little bit over time. Whereas my cousin. My cousin actually, oh my god, he grew so freaking tall, like he had a visible growth spurt, right? Like I didn't see him for a couple of months and then bam, he got so freaking tall, like what the freaking hell have you been eating? And yeah, I was so always hoping to have like a second growth spurt, I'm not sure if that's actually possible, possible or if just a myth or it's something I made up, but I've always hoped and prayed for that second growth spurt and it just never came. But then again, I haven't given up hope, so... Who knows if I'll wake up tomorrow? <laughs> My growth spurt should be coming any day now. And with that, I will be taller than Rosary and Lin. I will be taller than them. I hope. Yeah, yeah. You can try that. Ah! Lin says while looking down at me. Say that while you can. Ow! It, it hurts! It hurts! I can't take it anymore! Mm, you are so stiff, boy. After a break, Lin is helping me stretch, but I have to scream in pain. I can actually relate to that, especially I used to sport, uh, like, do physical activities like basketball, soccer, and all that. I used to do that a lot in my teenage years, and, and in my early years, I played a lot of soccer, and then I switched to basketball. Yeah, despite my height. And w sometimes I would just take a break from physical activities altogether, and then I would just not sport for quite a while. And then after doing that, the first time it's like hell. It's like going to, for, to the gym for the first time in a long time. If you just overexert yourself, which is what I always do, your muscle ache becomes so bad. And when you try to stretch it, it actually freaking hurts. So, yeah. If you're not, I, I, you, I'm a pretty limber person, but it, it doesn't come naturally. It actually comes a lot from stretching. So, and that's probably something that I haven't done in a long time now as well. So if I were to stretch right now, it would probably be rather painful. Ah, uh, I, I think that's enough. Don't be such a wimp. You don't do much physical activity, so you have to stretch yourself, or you'll suffer tomorrow. You've made your point. I think back to the day after I visited Kurokawa Mansion. I didn't have much trouble right when I got back to the church, but the next day, my muscles were aching. And if you want to learn martial arts, you have to have a flexible body. Stiffness leads to injury. There! Lin covers my body from behind. Squish! I feel something soft against my back. Lin, it's hitting my back. You're, huh? What's hitting your back? Don't say it, dude. <laughs> Lin's voice shakes as she understands what I'm talking about. I can see it from her, but I'm sure Lin's blushing. You know, I can't help that I'm a guy, so... Is that your final answer? Rumble, rumble. Ah, yeah. She scares me. She's as intimidating as Rosary. Lise, Rosary, and Lin. All those girls around me are so terrifying when they get angry. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, please. Apologizing is the only thing I could do, since I'm in the lowest position in the church hierarchy. I read in a book somewhere that women should be seen and not heard, but I think that it's only true in fiction. Because I'm in a world 
where women are overwhelmingly strong. Men like Alan. <laughs> is, does man, uh, do, does Alan really qualify as a man though? I guess he's still a little boy, right? But okay. Men like Alan and myself are a little better than insects. That's how it feels anyway. It's too late for Myrna, Myrna, so I hope Julia will grow up differently. Myrna already has Alan on a short leash. Julia adores Rosary, but I hope she doesn't copy Rosary's strength. I think that's enough for today. If you train on your own, you must stretch yourself like that. Understood? Understood. My body feels much lighter now. I'm still tired, but my body doesn't feel too heavy. I think that's because of the stretching. When are you coming next time? Hmm? I'm taking a break next week, so it'll be a week from now. Were you expecting me to be here? Huh? Quit b joking, boy. If you start skipping training, I can't be bothered to start over with you. You have to train yourself every day to see an effect. It takes a long time. I believe you. I can do that on my own, especially the running and stretching. Not just those, you have to train your muscles too. Oh, push-ups would be good. Oh no, more things to do? Yeah, you'll need strength if you want to control tonfas like they're your limb own limbs. Don't skip your training. Remember this. One skip day takes three days to make up. Oh, I will remember that. I know it's not good to skip studying. Martial arts is much the same, it seems. Well, it's basically that with everything, right? Like, whether it's physical or mental, it's sort of... That was my motto, at least. If I skip something, I would try to make up with it. Twice the effort, not third, three thrice or three times as Lynn does. But yeah, she's probably got a better work ethic than me. See you next week, Lin. You'll miss me all week, but I promise, I'll come back. I said quit joking, don't you understand? Just go home already. Lin turns around and goes back to her house. I'm starting to think it's going to take me a while to improve at all. That thought occurred to me on my way back to the church. There are many things to do and think about the word vir uh, viridis or viridis that the man in black said Lin's training and other things I have to do and need to think over I don't know but I'm getting a feeling of fulfillment I never had a feeling like that when I was in the mansion that's because he's actually doing something now right compared to before he was just sort of, sort of stuck in his mansion like sure it's pretty awesome to have a mansion but if you're only always in there and reading books it's not really that exciting of a life like sure it's a nice life but I I'd take an exciting life over a boring life any day of the week so yeah Tadayoshi Kurokawa is dead to the public but ironically that gives me a feeling of life there are a lot of things I don't know and I can't do and I'm excited to figure things out. It feels great to live like this for the first time. Alright, and on that happy note, we're gonna end the video here. I love those loading screens in, in between, by the way. Oh, they're back. <laughs> but we're gonna save this for the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I'll hope to see you and Alan back for the next video. Alright, peace.